This is um, this album called Hell the Sequel. So me and Marshall did this album on Shady Records. You know what I'm saying? So uh, the album is platinum, but this is like as soon as it went gold, they got me this plaque. This is my first plaque. Okay. <clears throat> um, this right here, this is um, yeah, this is for the album, and this is for oh, this is like Australia. This is gold in Australia. This is just the album, just the album cover right here. This is the gold plaque for it. So when you say something with gold in Australia went gold overseas, um, what's the difference between that means it was a, you actually sold a million records in that country? Well, we yeah, well, there's a there's gonna automatically be a different number to constitute gold over there. That's based off of their population. What okay. Is the number of the population. Okay. For he, here is five hundred thousand. I don't know what, exactly what it is in uh in Australia. All right, you gotta sell, but uh. Something lower. This is. They just sent me this. This is a recovery plaque. I ain't on this album. I had nothing to do with this. But they just sent me this. Okay. And uh, I was on his first album. The Eminem. So What's that? The Slim Shady, Slim Shady LP. Yeah. What, what song was you on on there? Bad Me Evil. A song called Bad Me Evil. And that's what we ended up calling the group. Okay. Bad Me Evil. So that project that y'all did together, that was actually a little group group thing y'all had. Yeah. 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 So we. The song was called Bad Meets Evil, and mm -hmm. then when we started doing songs together, we wanted to come up with a name to call ourselves where it wouldn't be Eminem and Royce. Like we just was like, fuck it. The song is called Bad Meets Evil. Let's call ourselves Bad and Evil. Dope. So I'm I'm um, I'm bad. He evil. Got it. And uh, Kamikaze, I'm on this album, so they sent me that one. Um, I'm not on this album, but they sent me this one. Every Eminem album is platinum. Absolutely. <laughs> That's an understatement. Okay. This us, this us overseas. When this nigga just decided he want to take one of his walks, he 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 finds great joy in doing shit like this. Okay. He don't get the deed. You no, know, he be like, man, I just wish I could pump my own gas. <laughs> <laughs> this is my nigga Fifty. He got the ten million world plaque. These, this the nine, this the nine plaque right here. He produced on all these albums. Okay. So this is D twelve plaque. Um, so this is. This plaque came because Marshall produced Get Rich or Die Trying. No, this is Denine's. So Denine is like, Denine is my man. He's in he's in D12. Okay. He's a producer. He produced on Get Rich or Die Trying, so they sent him this one. Oh, okay, okay. Mr. Porter. So these are all plaques from his house. Those mine, and these his. Because that B room, that's his room. This is his room right here. This is one of the members of D12. Yeah, he been he been quarantining at the crib and shit, but uh, he got get a slate. It's like touch screen board and shit. He been here playing the video games and shit like that. But he got all of this stuff at his house, so he been working at his house. I I prefer to come to the studio because I got to get out of the crib because I can't get nothing done at the house because my daughters is there. And they don't respect me. So we got a hip hop video game here. This is crazy. This is crazy right here. Yeah. Tribe Called this, Quest. This, this joint got all the games on it, like all the old Ring King, buying all. The, yeah. Everything. It's like a PC. He had somebody making and shit. So my son being here playing this shit, that shit. No doubt. This booth. Both the booths. Both the booths go back out into the live room. And then out here, I just like this is where I like. I come out here sometimes, but you know, we I rehearse out here. Fucking. Photo shoots out here. How often right. you come out here fucking with this fitness here? How long? How often you come over here and grab these dumbbells and shit? Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't grab a dumbbell in, in at least a year. You gotta get your dribble right, man. You said you get you in sobriety, man. It all it's it's all a process, man. We gotta keep this fitness at the forefront of our of, of our recovery. I you know what I mean? mean? That's my that's my thing with recording, dog. When I'm like recording, it's hard for me to like work out while I'm recording. Where I'm yeah. kind of like I'm still an addict. I just don't drink. So like when I do, when I get into my workout, I'm mm -hmm. into that. You all the way there. Yeah, I'm all the way into that. So I kind of like let my I like let myself get out of shape because that's like I draw inspiration from that. I ain't never been one of them maintain niggas. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's like it's all or nothing with me. You know, so. Um, these, this is the last thing I'm going to ask you. These four quotes, man, they just, these are crazy. Outwork everybody. Never let anyone talk you into not believing in yourself. 
and never take advice from anyone with bad breath. Yeah, so these, I mean, these joints, I design everything myself. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I, I basically just like, I went down like a really, like a rabbit hole. Like where it was like any open spot on the wall felt like it needed to be filled. Right. So I was literally just buying stuff, buying pictures and searching all kinds of like different art and shit like that. Like I did everything. Everything that you see, I did. Because I, I felt like my vibe is the most important thing, man. Like... The vibe has to be a certain way in order for me to be productive. So I put like a lot of effort into it before I was actually able to record right. when, when I got this spot. You know what I'm saying? Because some of it was built out already. I had to build out some of it. How much of the Slaughterhouse material was recorded here? Uh, shit, Slaughterhouse never recorded here. Okay. It was all like, this is natural right here. So you collect art pieces? Nah, not really. I can't take that kind of credit. I, I ain't, you know, I ain't into it like that. But I'm, 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 I love it. But I'm not like, you know how like you got sneakerheads and you yeah. got niggas that like shoes. Like yeah. I like it, but I'm not like a. Where you at with the sneakers, man? What's your favorite pairs? Yeah, I, uh, I brought some. You told me. To yeah, bring yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get to that before we get up out of here. Show me three of your dopest pairs. I ain't a sneakerhead, but um. And the reason why I say I ain't a sneaker head is because I like wearing I like wearing my shit. <laughs> Me too. I be wearing <laughs> me wearing my joints. Yeah, I'm like, I ain't about to wave no line or nothing like that, but mm -hmm. I definitely I want you to see these though. Nobody ain't got these. I've Both never seen these. them before. Forty thousand, thirty thousand. That's a forty thousand dollar pair of J's right here, man. Yeah, cause it's the M and M joints, the blueberry joints. Both Damn. But as you can see, I wear mine. Yeah. This I don't is really, crazy. The New Balance. Yeah, I don't really have that many shoes up here. But, right. Uh, but uh, yeah, I had my man go get those for me, cause these joints. Everybody be asking me. Khaled was blowing my phone up trying to get a pair of these. He ended up getting some, but I can sell these at any time. You know what I mean? But yeah, but I yeah, I'm not gonna like I'm not Yeah, I'm not gonna eat I'm not gonna eat the shit that you're doing. You're not gonna put what you're doing on me. You know what I'm saying? But in the same token, hold yourself accountable for what you do and you can always It's the home studio, recording studio. This fella right here, Detroit MC, Royce of 5-9, Gully TV exclusive. Look at there. Slaughterhouse. Speed bag. Treadmill. So the pros get busy at. Then you have the MC. Royce to five nine. Somebody in there getting busy.
Detroit MC Royce the Five Nine Slaughterhouse Finest. Giving y'all exclusive tour of his studio. To drop this Gully TV exclusive. Shout out to Detroit. Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick was released today from prison. Bizarre. Platinum record for Young Buck. Devil's Night by D12. More fifty cent. You know, you know. At the at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the work the work speaks, man. Like just just don't just don't gotta say another word. You don't gotta say another word. If you say if you say versus battle, just just good just look up the discography, my nigga. Like that's all that matters. That's all that matters. That's what that's conversation. And it's just you know it's just it's just communication. It's just communication, and. I'm gonna continue to support him. I'm a fan of him. I think he's a fucking incredible artist, you know. And I just, you yeah. know, it is what it is. Yeah, you know when when uh, we, we we took that trip out there uh, that time, we, we went to go visit Ex Murder mm -hmm. and his crib, and uh, this was maybe about a few months before he dropped 14 Girls. He dropped that record. Ex was like, "Yo, you, you ever heard of this kid named T Grizzly?" He was like, "Nah." So he just showed us a couple of uh, his uh, videos that was on YouTube. Mm -hmm. and Everybody's at peace. Everybody's at peace, man. Peace, peace, peace. Be accountable. I, but I, I, I like that, that, that big word that you said, accountability. Mm -hmm. Because I, I'll tell you what, that right there is the key to understanding what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of artists and people in general, you know what I mean? It, it, it's fun to, to chase the But at a certain level, when you want to be a man, you're going to have to be accountable. Mm -hmm. Facts. For sure. Dope, 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 dope. I, I mean, listen, internet. Y'all got more than y'all bargained for. Y'all got some great time with my man, Royce the Five Nine. Royce, man, listen, keep trying to figure this thing out and, and, and keep busy while.